Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fabulous Monday. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine Energies and if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame Coaching, please check the description box below and we can jump straight in with the first card. I have a compassionate and open heart. I love and accept myself as others and others without making harsh judgments. Yeah, and no self-judgment either. That will not be necessary. It doesn't serve anyone. Just serve the divine here. Focus on that instead of your twin flame. And then how could you possibly end up without me by doing this work? How could I resist your love when you continue to grow and expand it? Unless I'm not your twin flame, but you already know that I am. At this point, you fucking know your twin flame inside out. Ooh. <laughs> Brand new beginning in the physical pathway to marriage. Yeah, this is where it's, where it's going. This is why we can't get rid of each other. You probably tried to get rid of me at some point. Maybe you found me so fucking annoying. This can't be it. <laughs> Go on, shoo shoo. I'm done with this shit, but no, this is your twin flame. you got to figure it out. And if i got you blocked, if I'm being really cold towards you, good. At least you know unequivocally you can leave me to do my thing and go and pursue what the divine wants you to. It's just in the work, the work of your life and day. Not when the spouse dies or when the kids grow up. None of that matters. It's in your hands. It's up to you. It's never in anyone's hands, but yours. Endless opportunities, all in your hands. It's your journey, and if you don't see the full picture yet, that's okay too, you're just going to have to trust. You'll need faith in the divine. Trust that even though you don't see the full picture, the di divine does. And God's moving through that vision into your perfect life, which includes our harmonious twin flame union. Perfectly, quickly, efficiently. I've never known God to be anything other than hyper-efficient. Let me recognise the problem so it can be solved. A sense of separation from God is the only need, only lack you need to correct. Because all unhappiness comes from the sense of separation from the divine, because the divine is all, th all things. So... Resolve the separation from the divine. You resolve the separation to all things. So it's safe to let me do my thing right now. Big things happen when you trust the divine. When all that's left is God. The end of the internet, the end of time, this is heaven. Just being with the divine. That's not boring. You will be doing cool stuff. But first you must recognise the foundation is peace and oneness with the divine. It's simple, it's always there. Your know, twin flame provides freedom and a way to the divine. I love you. I am you. I know your dreams with understanding. Do you feel the love I have for you? That will send you here to be with the divine? God damn it. I put you in the one place you wanted to be. Is that not true? And... Me bit, and me saying nasty things was the very thing that brought you here. Oh, I know you well. God knows you well. This is the only place you need to be. The divine calls you to be with love itself. It's safe to be with love itself. It's a good place. I have an enthusiasm for love and life. My vibration is high and contagious, making me magnetic to my divine partner. And this is what makes you magnetic to me. You're extremely attractive. You have the drive to pursue the twin flame. And now you're with divinity itself. Give this desire to the divine and use it for the divine. God says find peace. Share that peace, because that's what you are, what the divine is. Be that peace, that's what you were given. You found the root of your existence, perfect, simple, you are love. 
of the love that you are grows and expands into infinite complexity. How can love be boring? Two of Cups. Oh. Oh, over the Ace of Pentacles. So we have pathway to marriage and union. Yeah, this is the way. Now you've been bored for an eternity. Not being with the love that you are fully. And when you are at the core, you can express and expand into all that you are. Where does that love want to go? Your twin flame, your soul family, your brothers and sisters, that's it. Yeah, receive this love from the divine because then all you want to do is give it back because it's great. And all you want to do is be with it, which is why you share it. Be a channel of pure love. That's what you do with it. Have it, be it, share it. It comes back multiplied. And you get more and share more because you've increased your happiness and your love. So you share more again. It's safe to do that. That's all that matters. Peace and being with the divine. Things may arise in your consciousness, and that's okay. You should work through them, shift, relax, be comfortable. Loving compassion. This is where your path led you, a state to a state of simplicity and oneness with the divine. The jewel of all that is, it's a simple thing. A fundamental building block for all things and is in all things. Love is peaceful. There's nothing excitement about it. Excitement creates boredom. And boredom gives the rise to the need for more excitement. Surrender these things. All you require is peace. As you let the excitement go, peace remains. And yet that drive for your twin flame don't go away. That drives the permanent flow of your love. If you stand in its way, it will build up and push through you. If you really stand in front of it, it will go around you. Till you get so sick of notes not experiencing it flow through you. And why wouldn't you want, want it to flow through you? Gentleness is its power in its tranquility, is ease and peace. That's what gives rise to joy. Feel that flow. Let it pass through you. Give in to that experience. If you don't need, even know where it's supposed to go, just focus on enjoying the experience of love flowing through you. That's you and the divine. It's so subtle. It's not wispy, it's subtle. That is the richness of the universe, that you're, that fineness that you're feeling. Do you feel how subtle and fine the love flowing through your heart is? Is there not pleasure in that feeling? It exists independent of me and you, never stopping. Your heart being mimics or arises from this universal mechanic. Let miracles replace all grievances. It is sure that those who hold grievances will suffer guilt, and it's certain that those who forgive will find peace. Yeah, yeah certainly the theme of this message is peace. Like how the physical heart pumps blood, does love flow from your divine heart into the rest of existence? All of existence is your divine body as it is God's. And you are blessed with this one gift, you. And you'll never be anything but you. You can't push you away or change you or stop you. You can't hide you or become something else. Just be yourself with the divine, with love itself. You're not alone. And you being you alone and nothing else doesn't produce loneliness. It produces satisfaction and completeness. Become transformed. Be kind from within. There we go. If you try and choke off the feeling in the way that fear does so well, the love flowing through you never stops, just your experience of it. You know it's an illusion and it doesn't exist. And the moment you let love pulse through you, halt completely again, without trying to control that feeling or being afraid of it, not trying to attach yourself to it, just being there in the eternal flow forever. That simplicity that you're experiencing right now is the fundamental building block of existence. That's the basis for all. 
notice that the flow of love from the divine through you out into the world back to the divine it's a closed loop sustainable eternal permanent loop and right in the center is you no matter where you look out in the universe there's always someone at the center there's the infinity symbol you are the primary receiver of divine love the only one receiving divine love is you right now all of god's love just for you and every point in all creation is aware is alive it exists and receives godless love the whole system is perfect flowing with the very love that flows through your heart right now you're a part of it all this is how we're all one you've got no control you can't change the love or the fact that you that you're you all you can do is be with that love so don't choose to shut it down just allow it this is what surrender is anywhere you go in your reality that you don't allow this love to flow reality in life will start to stagnate you don't need to allow that to happen because you know the secret of life is love the only place to give your love your love to is love so just keep doing that because nothing else exists but love go mad on love because love is the only thing that exists so you can't give your life to anything else because it's impossible to give your life to nothing but by devoting your life to love itself you're devoting yourself to everything me included okay everybody i'm going to end this message here i really hope that you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye